Good morning to everyone. I am uh, Mrs. Yu Sujata, Assistant Professor of English, Edim College for Women, Autonomous, Nagapatinam. Today, uh, I am going to see the Elizabethan Theatres. The Elizabethan Theatre is a general term covering the plays written and performed publicities in England during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, uh, 1558 and 1603s. Derived from medieval theatre's tradition such as mastery plays, the players simply refers to the actors. All actors were men and younger boys would play a female characters, intricate uh, plots with deeper and more varied characterizations, the growing emphasis on real life uh, situations. During the early part of the 16th century, there were two distinct the types of theatres in England. One was represented by small groups of professional actors who performed in halls, inns or marketplaces. The locations of the play was established by the words and gestures of the actors, as in the Commodious del Art. These localities has little significance. The second types of theatres found in the London areas was made of amateurs, usually university students, performing for the royal court and assorted gentry. The audience and the actors were educated, acquainted with the classes and knowledgeable about the theatres in the other countries, particularly France. The stage was probably set with the buildings made of lots covered with painted canvas with cloud borders masking the upper part of the acting area. The Elizabethan theatres, sometimes called English Renaissance theatres, refer to that style of performance, a play which blossomed during the reign of Elizabethan I of England. 1558 and 1603 EC, and which continued under the Stuart uh, successor. The Elizabethan theatres witnessed the first professional actors who belonged to the touring uh, troops and who performed a play of blank verse with entertaining non religious themes. The first purpose built permanent theatre was established in London in 1576 CE and other quickly followed so the drama simply to entertain became a becoming an industry. The theatre showing the plays daily lead to permanent acting companies which did not have to do and would invest uh, more time and money into woving their audience of both sexes and all the social classes. The most celebrated playwrights of the period was William Shakespeare's 1564-1660 CE, who works were performed at the famous Global Theatre in London and covered such diverse themes as histories, romance, revenge, murder, and comedy and tragedies. Elizabethan's uh, first and the arts. The Elizabethan age saw the booms in the art in general, but it was the performance art that perhaps uh, made the most lasting contributions to English and even the world cultures. The queen was herself and admirers of the plays, performance and spectacles which were frequently held at the royal residencies. The Elizabethan carefully managed her image as the virgin queen who had sacrificed her personal life to better the concentrate on the good of the peoples. The theatre was therefore just one of the media she used to project her own glory and that her families. The Tutors, the Queen actively, the sponsored artists and playwrights. Naturally, the Elizabethan did not invent theatre as the plays have been performed ever since the invention by the ancient Greek 
of the 16th century BCE in medieval England had witnessed the performance of the morality plays and mystery plays there were even dramas performed by actors during religious ceremonies and holidays there were also uh, masques a types of mime where masked performers sang danced and recited poetry the wearing extravagant costumes and stood before painted sceneries finally town actors england had long funded public shows which involved musicians acrobats and jesters and these continued even as the theaters became popular the elizabethan period saw the public performers become a the professional body of entertainers the first professional trips of actors were sponsored by the queen the nobles and anyone else who had the money for such entertainments the plays were a performed which the perhaps the thanks to the english reformation were now entirely free from religious themes and not connected to public holidays or religious festivals secular plays are presented a new challenges thought and the influence of popular art on politics and public minds were recognized by elizabeth who banned the performance of the unlicensed plays in 1559 ce in the 1570s ce religious plays the cycle were also banned the royal control of the theaters continued in 1572 ce ce when only a noble were permitted to the sponsor professional acting troops from 1574 all troops had be licensed to the move away from diverse few religious topics had lead writers to explore the other themes and the imaginations no no bounds historical topics were especially a uh, popular with the new playwright in a period when a sense of english nationalism was developing as in never before they combined with the humanities interest in greek and roman antiquity a royal patronage of the theaters would continue uh, during the re- uh, regions of elizabethan successor james i of england 1603 uh, 1625 ce who uh, founded three professional actors and the companies as a uh, playing companies the professional actors and theaters the first professional licensed troops of actors belonged to the elizabethan court and the favorite robert julie the first yale of leicesters and 1532 to and 1588 ce called leicesters a men they gained the license in 1574 ce and toured the country uh, stately for giving the performances naturally actors needed a suitable stage on their way to improve and so the first purpose build a theater soon arrived in 1576 ce a london resumed its very first purpose a build and permanent playhouse the founded by james barbage 1530s and 1597 himself an actor and simply known as the theaters although there were a um, earlier adapted buildings with a temporary scaffolding such as a 1564 ce red lion the located on hollywell street in shortich the theater was a wooden enclosed building with no roof in the centers and in the welcomed the audience of both countries and commoners the theater was such as success that other theater were built the starting with the curtains 
Burbage opened and second theatre in London, sir. Black Paris theatres by covering and uh, disused Dominican monasteries. There was also Rose, a 1587 CE, and the Swan, a 1595. As a theatre uh, business positively uh, boomed and Elizabethan encouragement of the nobles to stay and court and have residence. At the capital guarantees a ready audiences. Other towns soon uh, followed the fashions and acquired the theatres to yearly adapted being a bath, a crystals, Norwich and York. By the times of the Stuart Kings, uh, many theatres were offering a performance of a different place. Every day, typically in the afternoons, to a knowledgeable audience of men and women expecting to the novels entertainment. Even the most popular plays were only performed a handful of the times each year. As the theatres travelled to the entertainment's regular theatre chorus, properties were occasionally carried into on the platform stage. But from the external list, it is an abuse that there were a few in numbers. Some properties were so cumbersome that they remained on the stage throughout the year performance. The smaller properties were probably revealed in the discovery space. And servants carried some properties on off. In appears that the audience was not concerned by the cynic inconsequences. All of the theatre's building were around squares or octagonals with the, the teach a roof covering with the structures surrounding the an open country yard. Spectators depending on how much money they had would either stand in the yard which he may have sloped towards stage, sit on the benches in the galleries. That went to around the a greater part of the wall, sit in one of the private boxes, or sit on the stools and the stage proper. The importance of types of theatre was its flexibility. In some way, it was similar to earlier attempts to reconstruct the Sinan's fonts of the Romans. It had the facade and the entrance doors. The Elizabethan theatres different in that it had a main platform, an inner stage and upper stage level that made the movement possible in all the directions instead of simply along the length of a narrow stage. Further, as the theatres developed as actors and playwrights were freed from the obligations and re receptions that the sponsorships by nobles brought. It was the theatres thought which was to become world famous, especially after 1599 CE when it was uh, relocated the south bank of the river th Thames and it given a new name the Globe Theatres. The Globe Theatres opened for business in 1599 CE and was owned by Barbage Sons and some members of the professionals acting company known as Chamberlain Mint. One of these investors was William Shakespeare and how other actors and playwrights shared half of the profit from the theatres while the other half went to play pay secondary actors, the musicians, customs and maintenance costs. The crucial is then the establishment of theatres meant that the previously travelling actors would now from the more solid financial base which allowed that a uh, produced a uh, more plays and uh, give than a uh, much higher uh, production uh, values. 
the theaters companies would boast a 12 or more permanent in the main actors and the numbers of five for the plays boys and apprentices also on the stage were musician writers artists and copyist the global theater was made of wood more or less circular in form and open the psyches in the center the rising to the height of 12 meters and 40 feet and measures 24 meters 80 feet across inside there are three tiers of seating providing a capacity of around 2000 The theater got its name from the globe on its roof, which carried the legend in the Latin of the Shakespeare's famous line, "All the world is a stage." The globe's own stage was a rectangular, measured some twelve meters in length, and was protected by the thatch roof. Around twelve actors would perform on the stage. at any one times behind the stage was gallery which could seat more uh, viewers on be used an important part of the plays so for example juliet balcony in romeo and juliet the audience would be surprised by such technical tricks as the lowering actors and voyeurs are uh, having them the appears or disappears the throat a trap door in the stage floors the second half of the 17th century see some important developments allied the women played women parts the previously boys had done this the large flat a painted scenes often with a perspective incorrupted into the were moved on sliding rails on off in the stage another change was the now place has had extended run with the same performance behind the repeated each day the development actors with their short memories must have greatly welcomed the patterns of performance a place was set and would remains in the play rights to the present day the public theaters There were two kinds of public public theaters in the 18th century. One was the local development of the earlier private court theaters, the reflecting and the yeah sophisticated, the urban aristocratic demand for the theater as a entertainment. The Thero Hall Scars, 1776-78, the Milan is a good example of the numerous theaters. erected by 18th centuries nobility in the capital of europe the public theaters such as the las cas differ from the private court theater only in the size of auditoriums on the stage whereas the versailles has seated a fewer than 700 in the auditoriums las cas uh, could accommodate more than 2000 the opera generally including a ballad was by a time most popular from the entertainment especially in italy the restoration playhouse the other kinds of public theaters uh, peculiar to england was the restoration playhouse the barghouse horse horse sheep in the auditoriums with its deep stage and uh, orchestral pits was generally in the uh, favor all over western europe the fixing uh, design and style of, of opera house in a peculiarly in its actor plays in front of the elaborately painted uh, scenery in behind the prestonis arch the restoration playhouse however the while borrowing in in the a fully arranged stage of the barghouse theaters the provided in the additions a deep or bronze stage thrusting out from the prosenisms or upon which the most of the acting took place thus the actor played as it were in the with the shakespearean traditions 
were loath to abandon to intimate the contact between actors and audience that the Elizabethan theatres had allowed. At either side of the poor stage were doors by which actors entered. Above the doors were additional boxes for spectators staked one above the other in the bargains a manner. The Elizabethan theatre was important because it created groups of professional actors who performed the regular and cheap plays for the public in purpose built theatres. The most famous playwrights of the period was William Shakespeare's. The Elizabethan era had six main social classes, the monarchies, nobility, gentry, merchant, yeomanry and peasantry. The social classes were used to determine an individual's lifestyles, dress, economic status and jobs. The Elizabethan era social, the classes were used to ensure order and peace within society. The Elizabethan era saw the birth of plays that were far more morally complex, the vital and diverse. As with uh, the interludes, the earliest Elizabethan play were put on for the university students. They were modeled after the comedies of the Roman playwrights, Plato's and Terence and the tragedy of Seneca. The entertainment at court in Elizabethan times, including uh, justings, dancing, poetry and readings, dramatic performance, hunting, reading, banqueting, and uh, concerts. The main features of an Elizabethan theatre. The, El the theatre was the open and place had to uh, perform in the daylight. A flag would be uh, fallen from the top of the theatres to show the play was going to be, to be performed. The people sat around the stage in galleries. The cheapest play was in front of the stage where ordinary people stood. See, allowed had subject to practice the powered regions as long as did not disturb the order of societies had tolerant a view only stretched so far. Not being a nervous person, she punished anyone who possessed the threat to her resign severely. The theatre was an Elizabethan playhouse that located in the Shoreditch, part of the modern Bargate of Cockney, just outside the city of London. The built by actors, managers, James Barbage near the family home in the Holywell Street. The theatre is considered the first theatres built in London for the stores purpose of the theoretical productions. The theatre's history is including a number of important acting troops, including the Lord Chamberlain's men, with employed Shakespeare's and actors and playwrights, after a dispute with the landlord. The theatre was dismantled and the timber used in the constructions of the Globe Theatre and Bankside. The theatre was constructed in 1576 and James Barbage in partnership with his brother-in-law John Bernian on the property that had originally been the ground of dissolved uh, periary of Haley Wells or Holy Wells. The locations of the theatres was in the shore teach beyond the northern boundary of the city of London and thus outside the uh, jurisdictions of civil authorities who were often opposed to the theatres. The area in the suburbs of Sin was nutritious for licensed behaviors. Boothless and gaming house, and a year later, another theatre called the Curtains was built nearby. 
making the area london first uh, theoretical and entertainment district the woods o the design of the theater was a uh, possibly adapted from the inn yards that had uh, served as a playing uh, space for actors and or bear a uh, biting pets the building was playgrounds wooden's building the three galleries that surrounded the open yards in shakespeare's henry iv the chorus speech described the theater as well. this wooden o from one side of the polygon extend the third stage the theater it said to have a cost 70 the constructed the considerable sum of from the age the open yard front of the stage was coped on wide the standing room from the playing a penny from another penny the audience were allowed into the galleries where the either stools or for 30 penny could produce a stools one of the galleries through the shows do not the state which which divided into small compartments that the would be used by wealthy and aristocrats the global theaters the original global was an elizabethan theaters which opened in the autumns 1599 in south wark on the south bank of the thames in the area now known as bank side it was one of the several major theaters that were located in the area the other being a swan the rose and the hope the globe was the principal playhouse of the lord chamberlain's men who uh, would have become a king men in uh, 1603 the most shakespeare post uh, 1599 uh, the play was staged at the globe including the julius caesar's macbeth othello king lear and hamlet thank you